many ways, the, the DC motor is the easiest motor to control with uh, your Arduino, but it's also the most limited. Um, and so in this lesson, we're going to examine how and why. Okay, uh, let's wire up these DC motors. And this is going to be a fairly complicated build, so let's just get started. Okay, I've created this little uh, rig here. Basically, it's just a pair of DC motors on a metal framework with wheels on it. And that's just to help you um, visualize it when we start uh, making the motors turn. All right, so um, plug the red wires and the black wires into the red board and have them relatively close together. The reason is we need to use our diodes um, and this prevents uh, electricity from going the wrong way into the motors. Um, basically diodes only permit electricity to travel one way. So let us plug them in. If you look at it, you see that the um, there's a a lighter, lighter band on one end of the diode, and that's the end that should go to the red wire. Next, let's plug in our power supply. This is basically what we used in our pre the previous lesson. And let's plug it in over here. Red goes into the power bus, and black goes into the ground bus. Okay, next let's plug in our transistors. These are the same tip 20s, tip 120s that you used in the previous lesson. Put one right there, and one right here. Obviously one for each motor. Um, and then the, actually let's put them up a little bit. Okay, now let's, let's put the third pin, the emitter, to ground. And while we're at it, let's just um, ground the Arduino while we're at it. Okay, uh, so um, let's do the base now. We're going to need our resistors. As you recall, we like to um, protect the transistors from too much voltage from the Arduino by putting these little resistors. These ones are 220. Sometimes they suggest more for this sort of thing, but as long as you're not frying the resistor or the transistor, you're you're going to be fine. So uh, plug uh, one end of the resistor to the first lead of the transistor, um, and then the other on the other side of the central divider, so you can connect those to, let's say, 9 and 10. Of the on the Arduino. Next, let's connect the uh, ground of the motor to the collector of the transistor. So the black wire to the center pin of the transistor. And for the other one as well. And the um, the emitter of the transistors, the emitters, have both been connected to the ground bus. So we should be good to go. Let's test it out. 
As a final step, um, which I missed in my original description, you need to connect the power bus to the red wire of the motor, like so. And on the other one as well. Now we're ready to program it. Okay, let's write the sketch to control these uh, motors. And let's do it from scratch. All right. All right, let's begin with um, starting to declare variables. There are going to be four variables, the pin, and the speed for each motor. So let's do the speeds first. Now let's do the These are the pins here, and this is the speed. Um, the speed refers to pulse width modulation, and it goes in a range from 0 to 255. And I have it um, maxed out at 255. All right. Every sketch has a void setup and oops and a void loop and even when you don't have anything in it you still have to have it and there it is well, um, because there's no setup in this one there's just um, variables in the loop all right void loop analog right Motor pin one, motor one speed. Analog right, motor pin two, motor two speed. And then a little delay. And then closing the bracket for the loop, and then we're good to go. Success! The uh, the wheels are running, albeit relatively slowly. But bear in mind that we're running two 12 volt DC motors off of one 9 volt battery, so they're not going to move terribly fast, and that's all right. This is just demonstration purposes. You could easily swap in a 24 volt power supply, and and get much better results. But that is how you control motors with an Arduino. One thing you probably noticed when uh, typing in the code is that there's no reverse. Um, it's actually kind of tricky to do reverse with uh, an Arduino because uh, you would have to have the ability to reverse the polarity on the motors, which is what makes them go backwards. Um, in the uh, the next lesson lesson five we're going to look at a um adafruit motor shield and this is a pcb that fits on top of your um your arduino and gives it a lots of really cool capabilities with regards to controlling not only dc motors but also um, steppers and servos so I will see you then, and thanks for watching.